How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another car mechanic simulator. I know it's been a while. It's been probably like four days. That's not supposed to video, but we are back and I am super, super excited. I found a really, really cool truck in the junkyard that I haven't quite done yet. Um, I'll take you guys through it here. It is, that headlight's really cool on it, but it is a uh, F-250. I don't know, I think it says a year on it. Yeah, it doesn't say a year on it, but I think it was 80s. 80s 70s something like that probably 80s uh, i'll have to go look it up i used to know but i don't remember anymore but this is a street rod so this is like a rat rod basically um but it's a street rod uh ford truck you know so i'll go around here really quick so as you can see the frame is probably honestly like two inches off the ground in like some of these spots here probably like two inches off the ground um it's currently missing the rear bed we can add a rear bed in so i go to here see you can put a new rear clamshell in um but we're gonna take this bad boy and restore it so we're gonna make this thing into a super super fast drag monster pretty much um it's what's going right now it's got 512 and i'm looking at the compatible engines so we got coyotes v12 twin turbo Ooh. all right let me go check really quick we might switch this out for a v12 twin turbo so that's 500 what would be a v12 700 horsepower okay stock is 800 how's a stock 800 but this band is definitely a lot more this is the torque so the torque absolutely insane compared to this one like yeah this one gets higher horsepower quicker what's that at 5000 rpm 9000 rpm okay yeah so the v12 twin turbo is definitely going to be way faster so we're going to actually be i guess now i'm deciding we're going to be swapping out this v8 overhead cam um double i think it's a double carb supercharged one um overhead valve not cam valve uh, we're swapping this one out for that um, so let's start that. Let's start off the uh, stop the video by getting the uh, engine out, and we don't even have to pull the engine out and put it on a stand. I can just create a new one. Uh, move you. All right, and then I'm gonna double check and make sure that that engine is compatible with this one. I think it was uh, V V12. Single overhead cam twin turbo. Yep. All right. So that should work. Let's get this bad boy up in the air. And so this is going to be 700 horsepower, possibly over a thousand, I think. Very, very possibly over a thousand horsepower here, which is super cool because I haven't done a super, super big uh, horsepower car in quite a while. I think the highest one we have was a Chevy C10. That pushed around, I think it was 1,500 horsepower. Uh, I can pull that out. I can throw this back. We're not going to be using that the rest of the video. Pop this out. Okay, there we go. All right, and now we can go to here, create engine, find that V12 supercharged all right so now this is on the like on the actual builder here so now i can just build it from here which is super super nice um so let's get started with that okay so first things first is we have to go buy pretty much i think every single piece for this motor i don't have um anything stored up so I guess uh, I'm just going to go through really quick, actually, and buy everything I think we need, and then I'll see you guys back here. Okay, so I got a couple of things, pretty much. I got the entire bottom end of the engine bought and ready to go, so we can just start installing that now. Okay, so start off the crankshaft here, and I wasn't sure. I bought five bearing caps because, yeah, I wasn't entirely sure exactly how many bearing caps I might need for this, but it looks like... Five was a good amount, and I think I already had an extra three or four remaining. 
I have a lot remaining, actually, now that I see, now that. I see that. Um, okay, then we got the performance pistons, because, like I said, this is going to be a street rod, like a hot rod. Um, so we're going to be trying to push it. We're going to be trying to push this thing to its, uh, to its limit, actually. So we're going to be hopefully pushing over probably 1,100 horsepower is my mark. Okay, get that oil filter on, and now we can start screwing in each individual rod cap. This does take a little bit longer because there is 12 um, of them, so... At least this isn't a uh, valve motor. At least it's camshaft. If it was a valve, it would be pretty, pretty painful because then you'd have to do uh, six on each side. Or not six on each side. What would it be? Six, 12, 24 total. Yes, 24 total. Okay, that should button up this. I love how the game only has four screws to put the oil pan on. In reality, there's like, there's a screw about every two, three inches in real life. Okay. And now here is where I got stuck. So I didn't buy anything else. So we're trying to buy an alternator, that, and then engine head V12B is what we want. Okay, so V12B. We want this one. And we want this one. And then we want two of each of the exhaust manifolds um, because of the way... It works. They have two separate manifolds for the front and back half of the um, exhaust ports. Okay. I'm not going to buy any of the manifolds yet because I'm not sure which ones. I, knew, I do know we want this. Um, we'll buy two coil packs. I think we'll need those. Let's get our alternator. And then let's see if we have a power steering pump for V12. I don't think we do. Yeah, it's like we're gonna have to go with the stock one. Uh, where's that at? Throttle, power steering pump. I know we're gonna need two of those. One of those, one of those, one of those. One of these. And then we're gonna wait off on the timing covers. I don't know the exact timing covers, so I'd rather wait and save a little bit of, a little bit of money. Also, that only took us four head bolts to put the head on. That's actually uh, pretty crazy. Okay, we'll get this head put on. And then, once the turbo V12B. Turbo V12B. Yes, we have one. So, oh, we didn't need the exhaust manifolds. Well, that was a waste of money. So this should increase it by 10%. And then it also changes the, uh, the quote, quote, uh, power band, if you guys know what I'm talking about. So the way that the, uh, the way that the engine speeds up and the turbo speed, speed up and spool down and whatnot. Um, well, I'll, you'll see later. I'll try to explain it later on. Okay. Camshaft. Oh, we got plus two quality. Um, we need spark plugs. Then we need V12B camshaft caps. And cam gear. Okay, where are the caps at? So I think we need 10. And then we need cam gears. I think it was just a normal cam gear. I think we needed two. Um, but I'm going to buy a couple more just in case. And then spark plugs. We're going to buy 24. Yep, because if you see this, each each uh, cylinder head, kind of like the Hemi, Hemi engines, uh, each one has a dual spark plug. Okay. Now, I don't know if we'll have another. Is it just a single... I think it's just the single camshaft yeah i was expecting it to be a double camshaft on each side but 
Oh, it does make sense. This is a single overhead cam. Okay, there's that. And then we're going to need the coil pack, which I have one of those. We're going to use the performance one over the better quality one. Just because performance is what we're going for on this build. And I don't think, if I think about here, I don't think I've ever built one of these engines before. So I do not remember putting in this many spark plugs before. And I, this is definitely something I would have remembered. Um, ah, dang it. Get that out of there. Definitely not a performance one, at least. Okay, there's that. I think we have our timing sprocket or chain. So we need cover B, cover B, cover A, cover B. Oh, wow. Okay, so V12. So cover A, cover B, cover B, cover B. We're going to do this one. Mm. I don't know if it's what well, certain cover. B V B twelve or V twelve. Okay. Got it. Okay. Ah, the head cover has more than the head uh head studs. That's uh that's great to see. <laughs> okay, they want timing gear. And get that next. Since we got coils, you don't need ignition. Um, coils or coil packs or anything like that. We already got them up here. We got a coil pack right there. So we're going to do timing gear 12 and then manifold V12B. Okay, let's go grab this really quick. Just need the V12B one. And then I think we're also going to want the intercooler set, but I'm not sure. Uh, we're going to go with two throttles because usually this is a dual throttle. Okay. Oh, it's it's a single... Th oh, there. that, There's that. Okay, yeah. It's a single throttle, though. But it does make sense. It loops back into the turbos. Okay, then what else are we missing on here? Manifold cover. Intercooler cover. Okay, let's look for some covers. So, cover A, cover B, and then that one. This is a super, super cool engine, though. I've never, never ever worked on this one before. And then they also want another... F oh, they want the fuel rail, duh. I already have that, I think. I do not, never mind. Uh, fuel rail. Okay, now that that's done, I think we're done with the performance area. Let me just grab a filter and a pump real quick. I think this is a Ferrari motor or a Pagani. No, this is a Pagani motor. I'm pretty sure this is a Pagani. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a Pagani motor. So yeah, we're putting a Pagani motor in a old 1980s Ford F-250, which is pretty cool. So V12 power um, water pump, and then V8. Okay, so I know that's down here. So there's the water pump. We'll get our water pump pulley. We'll also grab our crankshaft V8. We'll go grab the drivetrain stuff real quick. Uh, we want our clutch, if I can spell clutch correctly. And then we're also going to get the flywheel. And let's find ourselves a custom V12 gearbox. Oh, um, hmm. It's one of these two, and I think it's the V12B, but I'm actually going to hold off. Now that I see the price there a couple thousand dollars each if i mess up oh this is a dual water pump pulley 
The thing I have two just laying around, or one extra laying around. Um, it's this one, then one more, right? Or I guess that one belt works everything. I feel like I'm missing something on the top here. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, I don't know. I'll just go with it. We'll see if when I pull that back out. We'll see if when I put something. We'll put this in the truck, see if it throws me any errors or tells me to do something. Okay. Alright, I think we are ready. Um, I'd really like to see how this fits in the truck. But I'd want, I want to get the body of the truck perfect before I touch anything... Um, with the motor, putting the motor in. So I'll hold off on that. All right, let me get the car back up on the lift here. The truck up on the lift. Go to here. Grab a brand new fuel tank for this. Uh, I gotta put it on, way up, uh, up on the lifter. All right. There we go. Now I can take that off and I can put on zoom in. Okay, so that should be almost. Yeah, I can't really see what that's going to be. So I stopped to put in the transmission and everything, but that should be almost every single thing we need to get this thing put in. Um, next episode, we're going to be working on, we're gonna, we have to make everything perfect again, like suspension, uh, just like literally everything has to be 100%. I'm going to throw some drag radials on this, see how it does. And we will test it in the next video. Um, I'm anticipating from the 702 stock with this, probably around 1,000. I'm, I'm guessing 1,100. Uh, yeah, probably around 1,100. So there we go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and a comment down below. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, also hit that subscribe button. We are so, so close to 100K. Um, and we're going to be doing a big live stream for when that happens. So hopefully you guys can uh, stay tuned for that. But thank you all for watching. And I will see you all in the next Car Mechanic Simulator video.